Holidays are cool. Which one's the best, you ask? The one on the title, moron. Here's why. Point number one, costumes are cool. You can be spooky, you can be funny, you can be hot, you can put in a ton of effort or be extremely lazy. There's a combo for everyone. I always go for funny and lazy because I'm absolutely hilarious and don't need to put in any effort to be that way. Point number two, Halloween Oreos. They're better than the regular ones and you know it. Point number three, the color scheme, orange and black. They just straight up put black into their holidays color scheme. None of the other holidays do that, and they just they just look good together. Thanksgiving needs to take notes. Point number four. Trick-or-treating was really cool when I was younger. If you ignore the times my friends were abducted, never to be heard from again. You dressed up, went out with your friends, though you probably didn't have any, and you got free candy for it. Which leads me to my next point. Number five. Uh, candy. If you don't like candy, you aren't human, and I'm legally allowed to kill you. Point number six. It is the only thing protecting us from a three plus month long Christmas season. Now, Christmas is a perfectly good holiday, but I couldn't live with its influence stretching back into October. It already took November because Thanksgiving is a baby holiday, so big tough guy Christmas just pushes right through them. But Halloween isn't a little punk and can actually stand their ground. Thanksgiving needs to take notes again. Point number seven, it's spooky. Like for real, look at the core emotions of other holidays. You got stuff like joy, love, alcohol, thankfulness, fear. It stands out. It's unique. Ironically, it's the only one not afraid to do something different. Point number eight, if you disagree, I will kill you. Point number nine, it gives me an excuse to watch cinematic masterpiece Halloween Town. Point number ten, how many bad Hallmark Halloween movies have you seen? Zero. Probably. I didn't actually check to see if there are any. Point number eleven, seriously, if you don't agree with me, I will murder you. I need I feel that I need to make that clear. Point number 12. Pumpkin carving is the only art form that has absolutely no elitism in it whatsoever. There's nothing like it. If a newborn monkey carved a pumpkin and plopped it outside their door, no snobby jack o lantern connoisseur is gonna make fun of them for not being as good as Pumpkin Picasso. But if you go, like, make a bad song, people will blame you for it. I should know. I did it, like, three weeks ago. Point number 13, like seriously, if you don't agree, I will actually come into your home at night and murder you in your sleep. I'm not messing around, this is not a joke. Don't pay attention to the flashing text on the screen. I actually am 100% serious.